came across a project being built on internet computer that I thought was pretty interesting. So I decided to create a video to share that with you here today. And as we see here on X at fuel underscore Dow, smart rentals drive decentralized. So this is ride sharing similar to things like Uber or Lyft. The difference here is that this is a project being built on internet computer. And as such, it can be built 100% on chain. And we see here on their website that they talk about driving shared mobility forward, clean and decentralized. Invest now. This appears to be really just a mock-up. The project isn't live yet. If you actually click on invest now, they have like a, a sample, you know, a car marked as a sample, which is a Model S Plaid. Whereas in an interview video that I watched, they talk about they're probably going to, they're really targeting Model 3s primarily. So I don't know if they will in fact include a Model S or if this is just 100% just for mock-up purposes. And I don't know why they wouldn't have used a Model 3 for the mock-up. On their site, you know, they, they talk about decentralized ride sharing. Fuel Dow is a pioneering decentralized autonomous organization that offers equal friendly transportation services like electric scooter rentals, ride sharing, and fuel efficient vehicle leasing. We will be providing quality transport services to clients starting with Barcelona and the surrounding area. So they're they're getting started or they plan to get started in Barcelona, Spain. Built by a team that comes with 30 plus years combined experience in Web3, Fuel Dial aims to make your ride experience clean and simple. Then of course they have a link to their white paper and here you can read more in their white paper online. We can see here in the roadmap that phase one is vehicle acquisition and membership model, phase two launch and expansion, phase three peer-to-peer -peer network and user-owned vehicles, phase four community-owned vehicle lending and transition to Uber-like model, phase five expansion and optimization. And it's mostly more of the same type of information. You know, they go on to talk about decentralized control, fully community-owned ride-sharing fleet powered by blockchain technology, 80% premium Tesla cars, 20% high-end fuel cars, complete with 24-7 road assistance and insurance, sustainability always available, unique AI algorithms keeping a car available around you always. And of course, as they said in an interview that I, I watched, or at least I watched about 30 minutes of an hour-long interview, the internet computer ICP allows Web3 services to run 100% on-chain, providing the only platform where developers can build and users can enjoy fully decentralized applications. FuelDAO is set to leverage the power of Definity's decentralized technology, specifically the SNS, which is the service neuron system. Through integrations with the SNS, the FuelDAO application will evolve into a DAO, which is a decentralized autonomous organization with tokenized governance functionality, paving the way for a decentralized and community-driven ecosystem. You see down here below that they list Barcelona, Spain, as that is the only area of operation initially once it's actually launched. So in this interview that I watched, which there are links in the video description below to this video, among a few other links that you may find handy relevant to Fuel DAO. But essentially, to my understanding, some of the dialogue is a little bit difficult to understand, quite frankly, because all three of these people, it seems that they are just using the microphone built into whatever camera they're using, webcam or otherwise. And they also, at least two out of the three, if not possibly all three, are also sitting in environments that are highly reflective. So basically echo boxes and likely sitting a good, you know, three, four feet back from the microphone. All of these things make for poor audio fidelity. And in this case, it kind of borders on, if not hits, that area where it's actually unpleasant to listen to. So after I watched about half of it, I, I felt like I got the gist and I kind of had to tap out at that point. You know, they talk about how what they essentially want to do is they want to have a better solution than something like Uber or Lyft because that's the middleman, right? They want to drive the price up, charge the customer more, pay the driver less, keep the differences profit for themselves because it's a for-profit company. It makes sense. Whereas this project is aiming to eventually move to a DAO and really 
just have the DAO have the ability to make enough money to to function rather than trying to make you know every every bit as much profit as they possibly can the same way that say like a publicly traded company would be pressured to do to me it sounds like a pretty good idea unfortunately there's a lot of people with pretty good ideas the real question is will they successfully bring it to market will they successfully get the project running strong that remains to be seen but I am definitely bullish on the fact that more and more developers are building more and more projects on internet computer which is exactly what we want to see we need more use more adoption more cycle burns more awareness and then eventually much better price action this is more of a long-term play as I'm sure many of you that have invested in internet computer are aware and like anything it is possible to lose everything that you invest in internet computer however I feel that internet computer has the most promise out of any other blockchain that I am currently aware of and to be clear this is my internet identity on the NNS and I will go ahead and refresh the page here so that you can see that this is a web page or at least have more confidence that this is a web page that I'm logged into and not some sort of fake out and you see here that I currently have 166.61 ICP however if we look at my staking you'll also see that I have 1500 ICP locked for eight years which is something that I did recently it says here that I have 14 days of age that is only accurate insofar as my current age bonus this would actually be at something like 20 or 22 days but I started staking with a thousand ICP and then about 18 days later I added 500 ICP to the staking and that 500 ICP had zero age on it so it brought down the age bonus a bit however I do have ICP this is one of the things that I think is pretty important right when you're listening to other youtubers or people that want to go public talking about crypto if they're not willing to show you their their wallets or any of their exchange accounts or anything you know there was there's one guy that I used to follow and I used to think that they were a good channel to follow I remember one time live on a AMA on discord or it might have even been a live stream on YouTube somebody asked like when are you gonna show us your wallets when are you gonna show us your holdings when are you gonna show that what you say you're holding is in fact what you're holding and they came back with this well you know I don't know I need to check this and that and make sure there's no personally identifiable information you know it's, it's all nonsense it's that's that's BS and so to that point I just want to show you a few things really quick I just showed you my NNS wallet I've shown you coinbase before more than once I've also shown on camera some of my wallets just including the software the companion software for some of my wallets previously this is my block stream jade that I most recently got and transferred Bitcoin to a SegWit address created using the Blockstream Jade. This is my Tangem Classic or Tangem 1.0. This is my Tangem, the new Tangem or Tangem 2.0, SafePal S1, Keystone 3. So when you come across people that tell you that they don't want to show you proof uh, that they hold anything that they say they're holding, that should be a really big red flag for you. I can tell you from experience, like from these five wallets, as well as some software wallets and some exchange accounts and my NNS account and that in many cases there's no reason to not show any kind of proof and be careful you know somebody telling you you got to buy near protocol or you got to buy Solana oh yeah I hold 40,000 Solana but then they won't prove it they won't even attempt to prove it they won't show you you should think about that guys